Chairman of Florida. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman Renaki, I'm looking at the report that you handed out this morning, and I was wondering if you could take your copy and turn to page 26. Okay. There's a table on page 26 which consists of your balance sheet, and one of the entries on the balance sheet is under assets, central bank liquidity swaps, which shows an increase from the end of 2007 from $24 billion to $553 billion in change at the end of 2008. What's that? Those are swaps that were done with foreign central banks. Many foreign banks are short dollars and send to our markets looking for dollars and drive up interest rates and create volatility in our markets. What we have done is, with a number of major central banks, like the European Central Bank, for example, we swap our currency dollars for their currency, euros. They take the dollars, lend it out to the banks in their jurisdiction. That helps bring down interest rates in the global market for dollars. And meanwhile, we're not lending to those banks. We're lending to the central bank. The central bank is responsible for repaying us. So who got the money? To financial institutions in Europe and other countries. Which ones? I don't know. Half a trillion dollars and you don't know who got the money? The loan went to the, the loans go to the central banks and they then put them out to their institutions to try to bring down short-term interest rates in dollar markets around the world. Well, let's start with which central banks got the money. There are 14 of them which are listed in our, I'm sure they're listed in here somewhere. All right. So who actually made that decision to hand out a trillion dollars that way? Half a trillion dollars. Who made that decision? The Federal Open Market Committee. Okay. And was it done at one time or in a series of meetings? A series of meetings. And under what legal authority? We have a longstanding legal authority to do swaps with other central banks. It's not an emergency authority of any kind. Anything specific about it? Do you know the, my counsel says Section 14 of the Federal Reserve Act. All right. We actually looked at one of the arrangements and one of the arrangements is $9 billion for New Zealand. That works out to $3,000 for every single person who lives in New Zealand. Seriously, wouldn't it have been better to extend that kind of credit to Americans rather than New Zealanders? It's not costing Americans anything. We're getting interest back and it comes back. It's not at the cost of any American credit. We are extending credit to Americans. Well, wouldn't it necessarily affect the credit markets if you extend half a trillion dollars in credit to anybody? We are lending to all U.S. financial institutions in exactly the same way. Well, look at the next page. The very next page has the U.S. dollar nominal exchange rate, which shows a 20 percent increase in the U.S. dollar nominal exchange rate at exactly the same time that you were handing out half a trillion dollars to foreigners. Do you think that's a coincidence? Yes. All right. Well, the Constitution says no money shall be drawn from the Treasury but in consequence of appropriations made by law. This money is not drawn from the Treasury. Well, let's talk about that. Do you think it's consistent with the spirit of that provision of the Constitution for a group like the FMOC to hand out a half a trillion dollars to foreigners without any action by this Congress? Congress approved it in the Federal Reserve Act. When was that? Quite a long time ago. I don't know the exact date. A hundred years ago? The original act is 1914, I believe. I don't know whether this provision was in 1914 or not, but the Federal Reserve Act was in 1913. All right. And at that time, the entire gross national product of this country was well under half a trillion dollars, wasn't it? I don't know. Is it safe to say that nobody in 1913 contemplated that your small little group of people would decide to hand out half a trillion dollars to foreigners? This particular authority has been used numerous times over the years. Well, actually, according to the chart on page 28, virtually the entire amount that's reflected in your current balance sheet went out starting in the last quarter of 2007. And before that, going back to the beginning of this chart, the amount of lending was zero to foreigners. It was zero before the crisis, yeah. This was part of the process working with other central banks to, again, to try to 
get uh, dollar money markets working normally in the global economy. All right. My time is very limited. The gentleman's, time, limited is, the gentleman's time has expired. <laughs> the gentleman Thank from you, New York. Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you very much, Mr.